And why do you think I'm dancing? Well, it's because over this last weekend, not counting a few videos that came before that, I have explained every single song from the weekend's new album, Starboy. <laughs> I'm a little bit out of breath. This is super exciting because this is a huge project that's 18 videos plus a couple of extras, including this one. Uh, there's gonna be an album review coming out soon as well, and that's just a tremendous amount of work. But you know what's really made it worth it? You guys have been so kind down in the comments, lots of really positive things. I'm glad I've been able to help you. You guys seem excited about that. And a lot of you have been subscribing. Super fun, super cool. You guys are great. So I wanna dedicate this last explanation from the Starboy album to you guys. Let me explain. Hey everybody, my name is Clifford Stummy. I'm the Pop Song Professor. Welcome to my channel where we're all about helping music lovers like you, weekend fans, to understand the deeper meanings of popular songs so you can know what your artists are saying and enjoy your music more. Today we are talking about Die For You by The Weeknd. Yeah, if you liked my song in the intro that's Crimson Fly by Huma Huma, I don't actually play the songs in these videos because sometimes record labels get a little bit miffed, even if it is legal to do so for educational purposes. But you can definitely find the song by The Weeknd and plenty of others at a link I've put in the description to Spotify. But yeah, let's get on with it. So there's some conjecture that this song is about him breaking up with his girlfriend, Bella Hadid. Now that happened just a little while before the album was released, but I was reading Genius.com and they were saying that the song wasn't actually completely finished until near when it was released. So he could have been thinking about her during this. The song is vague enough that it could apply to many different relationships, but you'll see what I mean. It's about two people breaking up, uh, but it's sort of like a slow breakup that they kind of see coming and it's a difficult process. And he might even just be describing one particular moment's worth of feelings uh, for most of the song as they're breaking up. It's a cool song with a lot of emotional depth. I think you'll like it. In verse one, he sings, I'm finding ways to articulate the feeling I'm going through. I just can't say I don't love you cause I love you. So this breakup is happening, but it's kind of against his will because he does love her. He sings, it's hard for me to communicate the thoughts that I hold, but tonight I'm gonna let you know, let me tell you the truth. So he's either gonna tell her I break up with you or he's gonna tell her I love you as they are breaking up. I think it's the latter. Which brings us to the pre-chorus where he sings, you know what I'm thinking, see it in your eyes. You hate that you want me, hate it when you cry. You're scared to be lonely. So they both hate this. He hates this. She hates this. They really do wish that they could stay together. He's scared that he'll miss her. And then he sings, I, tr I try to find reason to pull us apart. It ain't working because you're perfect. So the relationship is just so great and they want to stay, but for some reason they have to break up. Now, the, the reason that Bella Hadid and The Weeknd had to break up was apparently because of like scheduling differences. Some people will kind of like wink and nod and be like, well, maybe it's because of that song Starboy where he sang about having a quote main bitch and a side bitch. I don't really know that they've opened up and shared details. So that's all conjecture. And then we get to the kind of ironic chorus where he sings, even though we're going through it and it makes you feel alone, just know that I would die for you. Now, if Bella Hadid and Abel Tesfe and pardon me for calling him The Weeknd earlier, because when I talk about him in like real life, he's, I call him Abel Tesfaye because that's who he is, because The Weeknd is kind of like this representation of a person. So it's it's difficult, I think, sometimes to think or to remind yourself that not everything that happens in The Weeknd songs is applicable to Abel Tesfaye, the actual person, but it's something that I try to remember. Anyway, it's ironic that The Weeknd would sing, Baby, I Would Die For You, even though we're breaking up. Uh, when Abel Tesfaye is breaking up with Bella Hadid over scheduling differences. It's kind of cliched, but if, if you're willing to die for somebody, wouldn't you also be kind of willing to live for them? And he sings, the distance and the time between us, it'll never change my mind. They're still in love, they still wish things could work out, but they aren't working out. And then in verse two, he sings, baby girl, I'm not blaming you. Just don't blame me too, cause I can't take this pain forever. And you won't find no one that's better cause I'm right for you. I think I'm right for you. So there's a little bit of hesitancy at the end. Like, I think I'm right for you. So he admits that like, it's it's his opinion that he's right for her. So there's like this small gap left open for you know someone else to come in for their lives to go separate ways. But it's still interesting that they have to break up, but he's they're still kind of saying like, we're perfect for each other. This is just so sad it isn't working. And I really wish this song had more details and he would tell us why it's not working because I feel like we could understand it better. And in the end, it kind of just stays vague. So it applies to a lot of different situations, but doesn't really mean something very much on its own. Maybe you're listening to the song and you think, oh, that kind of describes the relationship that I'm in now. Well, and, and that's cool for you. Uh, but as we're trying to figure out what the weekend means, it makes it a little bit more complicated. And that brings us finally to the bridge where he sings, I would die for you. He says, I would kill for you. And he says that he's gonna keep it real with you. And that leaves us at the final conundrum of the song. Like, I really wish that we could be together and I would do a lot because I love you and I will take care of you from afar, but I'm not gonna be in a relationship with you. And so it's kind of a sad song. And it also kind of adheres to this theme that we see in Starboy and other things that the weekend's written of like, I know what would be like a really good thing to do, but I'm not gonna do it. And it's because, you know, this isn't an ordinary life or because I'm a star boy 
or because of fame and wealth and all of this stuff. I don't want to accuse him of anything, but it's almost as if though he's using his fame and his celebrity and how busy he is making so much money as kind of a crutch to keep him from doing the things that he really feels are right in his heart. I don't know the guy personally, and I'm not going to judge him. I think his music's awesome. I love listening to it. I love hearing what he has to say. And that's all he's really seen fit to share with me as a person or as a member of a population that listens to him. And you know what, guys? I really liked explaining it too. If you're watching this video, chances are that you are one of the people who hasn't unsubscribed to me after seeing like 15 videos in one weekend. It's probably gonna end up being like 16 actually. So thank you very much for that. And it also means that you're probably a pretty big fan of The weekend. And, and if that's the case, I want you to know, I explain a lot of different artists and songs on this channel, but The weekend is one of my favorites to explain. In fact, explaining Can't Feel My Face on my blog was kind of what got me broke me into this business in the first place. So I'm gonna come back to him. You guys have suggested The Hills, you've suggested some stuff from Trilogy, The Knowing, uh, 28, all sorts of crazy stuff. I am gonna come back to that. I might take a little bit of a break from The weekend, but he still holds a place in my heart and yeah, we're gonna listen to him some more. So hopefully you have a better understanding of Die For You by The weekend. Thank you guys so much for sticking around with us from the beginning, watching all of these videos, joining the community, commenting your opinions and your suggestions. This has been a really great experience for me. More videos are to come. If you wanna watch some of the ones I've already made, you can click right there. Don't forget to subscribe and to join the song meaning community and comment below a song that you'd like to hear me explain. The weekend suggestions are very welcome. Thanks for watching, talk to you later.